The Collector's Guide to Case Double X Pocket Knives and Prices is proud to present videos on Case Double X Pocket Knives. There are two things that case collectors have to know about case knives. The first is how old is this knife and the second is what knife is it? This video is an introduction to dating case knives. At the end of this you should be able to start to answer the question when was this case knife made? The earliest uh, method of dating case knives involved what's called an era stamp. Then uh, for the last 50 years case began to date the knives by the exact years in a coded method that used either dots or dots and X's. Since you are probably a new collector we will begin the detailed discussion of dating knives with the knives you're most likely to see that is the newer ones and those begin in 1970. In 1970 the Case Factory added 10 dots to its stamps under the USA line then every year thereafter they would remove one dot. Saying this another way, 10 dots is 1970, 9 dots is 1971, and 1 dot would be 1979. So now what's going to happen in the 1980s? Well Case puts 10 dots on them again but it moves it up to the middle of the stamp and they changed the shape of the S's to the so-called lightning S. And the, the years will proceed. 81 will have one dot gone. 82 will have eight dots left and so on. Um, and this is going to be true for each decade in the last 50 years. Case adds a new, st a new stamp at the start of the decade and changes the arrangement of the dots. It's basically that simple. Now let me tell you the rule of dots. Um, as you look at this stamp you can see there's three. So the rule of dots by the blade master goes like this. Count the dots, subtract from 10. The answer is the last digit of the year. In this case 3 from 10 is 7. This is a 1987 stamp. By the 1990s, Case was ready to try something new. You notice on the third line here that they put the actual year on the stamp. Sadly, this turned out not to be popular with collectors. And by 1993, they were beginning to transition back to dots. Uh, this stamp, for example, has six dots. Subtract from 10 is four. This is a 1994. The 1990s dotted stamps have the dots below the USA again. And they have a long-tailed C as the first letter in the first line. With the start of the new millennium in the year 2000, Case decided to radically change its dating method. You'll notice that there is a long-tailed C, but the C is straight on this stamp. Also, there's five dots and X's above and below. And if you look closely, you do not see a USA stamp here. It was moved to the first line of the model number stamp in that year. Further, the factory made the decision to remove one dot uh, each year until they were all gone and then uh, begin to grind off the X's. The 2010 decade stamp uh, is similar to the 2000 stamps but the long-tailed C is now curved again. Also uh, the arrangement of the X's and dots is reversed from the 2000 stamp. That completes our last 48 years of um, case knife dating stamps in which uh, 
the knowledgeable collector can't figure out exactly what year a knife was made. We'll turn in a minute to the era stamps, but I just wanted to say uh, this may have seemed like it was uh, a lot or overwhelming, but trust me, if you pick up a case knife and you match it against a reference like this, and if you do that four or five times, you are going to know what you're doing and you will be much smarter than the average Joe on pocket knives. So let's turn our attention now to the early case era stamps. While the Case family had been in the knife business since 1891, it was primarily as jobbers where they sold other people's knives. Three of the Case brothers built the first factory in Little Valley, New York in 1900. This factory lasted until 1912 when it burned to the ground. And then the Case brothers built another factory in Springville, New York, but it was only successful for a short time. Until 1915. During the same time, another one of the brothers split off from the group and formed the W.R. Case and Sons Cut Cutlery Company. This was in uh, Bradford, Pennsylvania. Originally, there was only one son, so the 1902 to 1903 stamp you see uh, only has son and not sons. But from 1905 to 1914, the knives were marked with W.R. Case and Sons. With the demise of the Case Brothers factory in 1915, things were consolidated in the Case Bradford plant. And from 1915 to 1919, the stamps are fairly simple. They say Case Bradford somewhere. By 1920, the tested era began with a Case Tested Double X stamp. This was used from 20 until 39 and um, is a very desirable stamp. Of course, all the ones that before this are desirable too, um, but uh, this one you, you have a chance of seeing more of. In the 1940s, just before the war, Case went to a simple Case double X stamp, and this stamping method was used for almost 25 years, from 40 to 64. In 1965, the federal government passed a law that said everything manufactured in this country had to have a USA mark on it somewhere. And so you see in 65, the USA line was added for the first time to the Case X stamp. That completes our introduction to dating Case pocket knives. Before we go, let's do one little test. Look at the tang stamp on this knife. Notice that the dots are in the middle of the tang, indicating it is from the 1980s. There are five dots. Five from ten is five. This is a very nice 1985 knife. Thank you for watching and learning about case knives. Mm -hmm.